So do you ever plug in your phone to your car using one of these and you're driving for about 30 minutes, you look down at your phone, you realize you've only gotten about 2%? or sometimes you've even gone down in percentage? Well, I certainly have. I've decided to get to the bottom of this and share with you guys why your car charger sucks and the solution to getting faster charging out of your 12 volt. Hi, my name is Corey. My channel is called What The Tech and as of today, I have a whopping 11 subscribers. I don't want to turn this into a physics class, nor am I qualified to do so, so I'm going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. There are four main units of measure when it comes to understanding this stuff. Watts, volts, amps, and milliamp hours. Mumbo jumbo aside, that's a technical term, you can forget about volts and watts for now. Uh, to maintain just a basic understanding, we're only going to concern ourselves with milliamp hours, which is your battery capacity, and amps, which is the defining factor of how fast your phone's going to charge. So if your car charger sucks, pull it out. Somewhere on the side should be written the amps, and if it says one amp, throw it away. Phone batteries these days are too big to get a decent charge with only one amp of current running into your phone. And unfortunately, a lot of the cheaper car chargers only provide one amp. If you're not interested in learning the rest, that's fine. Stop this video right now. Go into the description where I've posted links to multiple of these car chargers and they're all above one amp. Any one you pick is gonna be fine for your average device. So in this video, we're gonna unbox and review the Anchor Power Drive Speed 2 uh, if my research is correct, this should charge up the phone nice and fast. Okay, so stick with me. Let's open it up here and see what it looks like. Okay, so there you go. That is the Anchor Power Drive 2 quick charge with IQ charging. This thing is fully loaded. Okay, this thing cost $25, but it's not going to suck and it's going to charge your phone really fast. So what's up to you? So in order to understand how many amps of output your car charger needs to have in order to provide a sufficient charge, then you need to know how big your phone battery is. If you don't know how big your phone battery is, just Google it. For reference, I'm still living in the past with a Samsung S7 Edge and my battery size is 3600 milliamp hours. If you have an iPhone 8 or 9, those battery sizes I believe are around 3000 milliamp hours. So a little bit different in size, but relatively the same when you're talking about how many amp hours you need to provide a sufficient charge through your car charger. The basic calculation is to convert your battery size into amps and then look for a car charger that provides no less than that amount of amp output. So if your eyes are glazing over right now, don't worry, I'm going to simplify it with an example. You should have an amp output that'll charge your phone at a rate of about half of your battery size. So to figure out that number, let's take the iPhone 8 and say it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Take that 3000, divide it by two, that gives you 1500 milliamp hours. And then you divide that by a thousand to convert your milliamp hours into amp hours. Or you just take that decimal, move it over three spots, and then you have your amps. So from 1500, move the decimal, you got 1.5 amps. This means you should have a charger with no less of an amp output than 1.5. This charger here is 1.5 amps, so it should charge up the iPhone 8 or 9, providing it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, no problem. This charger also has Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, so if your device is enabled with that technology, it'll charge it super, super fast. I think it'll say it'll charge at 80% in about 35 minutes. At the beginning of this video, I said if you made it this far, then I would provide you with some bonus info as well. So here it is. Your car's USB port sucks at charging phones as well, right? Well, as we've already established, most modern phones these days require at least 1.5 amps to get a decent charge. Now, your car USB port, a lot of them aren't designed for charging phones, and like a typical laptop USB port as well, they only output 0.5 amps. That is not nearly enough to get a decent charge out of your USB port. So, if you've been pulling out your hair like I have over the years and wondering why your phone never charges using that USB port, that is why. 
Is there a solution to fixing that? No, there isn't. You just need to buy one of these 12 volt car chargers and make sure that it is at least 1.5 amps. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope that makes you guys feel a little bit better about the next time you purchase one of these. You can get a relatively good one for cheap. You don't have to spend $25 like I did on this one, but know that if you do, you're probably gonna get something with bolts that each of these ports output 1.5 amps each okay so totaling three amps you can charge up two of your phones at the same time no problem nice and fast so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe it's a beautiful day outside so i'm going to get out there and go have some fun thanks for watching